Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. All right. Let's go. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Revelio. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what he thinks? Field guide. I'm way ahead of you, love. I'm I'm a Ravenclaw. I think I think you've forgotten. I'm just that smart. I don't know how many pages there are exactly in the game. I just know that there are a lot. So exploring the castle will be helpful for that. Ah, the portraits move. Oh, my goodness. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Yeah, well, get a move on then. I could be running there right now. It's so cool that the portraits move. Do all, every single one of them move? Yeah, once you get close enough. Ah! Oh, what? Oh, but there's a chest here. Hold on, Mr. Weasley. Just give me one second. I rolled something. I don't know what I rolled. Sorry. I didn't realize this was a do or die situation right now. Timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Is that where we want to go? Central Hall? Oh no, Central Hall. So, Grand Staircase. Oh, that's where we are. I see. And we want to go to here. That's interesting. There's loading screens on PC. I don't... There wasn't on... PS5 and by loading screens I mean like visuals like uh, the loading screen on PS5 was just a black screen with the little house crests in the corner that was it it wasn't like pictures and stuff not that I can remember anymore it's the heart of the hive our king's cross station so to speak 
Oh, yes, of course. Games cross. For now, you'll be expected to attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Excellent. I, I know all of this, so I'm not asking those questions. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Mm, yeah. I did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Wait, so is she going to be, like, spying on us through, like... Is this like a school journal I'm going to have to hand it to be like, uh, I did my homework, miss, here it is, and show her the field guide. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. I had to brag. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Me what? I haven't been hitting the button. Doesn't want to do it. There we go. Ah, right. Quest tracker. I get it. Okay. Too easy. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank uh, you. Yep. Thank now, you. Sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy oh. Mr. Ollivander. Don't get me started on the wand. I'm so excited, I Professor. I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. 
More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. See, I didn't even think, right, when this game was like being advertised and everything else and I was doing videos on it, that I totally forgot we're at fifth, uh, fifth year. So that means we're going to be doing our owls. I didn't even think about that. So uh, I'm interested to see how they implement that into the game. Uh, see. No loading screens when you're exploring the world and stuff besides that. Every now and again, some doors will buffer um, to sort of load the world outside, which is fine. Like, I'm fine with that. For the most part, it doesn't do it like it didn't do it there. Um, but I did notice it on PS5, so. All right. Defense against the dark arts, the class I'm most looking forward to. Let us begin. you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Oh yeah, now, definitely. Read up on it. I am learned in that particular topic. ...took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. I don't like him. I don't, I'm got, you deserve that, bud. You absolutely deserve that. No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially She's got a cool wand. Battered. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Here we go, another spell. Let's go. Levioso. Mate, music is on point. It's the music from the movie when she now, Hermione lifts the feather up. Larger. So good. So good. <laughs> Slytherin almost tripped over. Oh, I meant to step up, am I? It, it just automatically is like, hey, Let you do it. With a basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, oh, cast Levioso don't call it a dummy. Then the basic cast. Okay. Remember, a surprise. Levioso. Good. Well done. Nice. Very nice. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, I'm gonna thrash you. I'm gonna absolutely demolish you. And Protego, you may begin. This can't be your first duel. What? Because I instantly break your shield? I do enjoy it. Ah, uh, I cast it quicker. I'm so much better than you, bud. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hector. Yeah. I have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, 
But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Very nice, and that's our first class. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I enjoyed that. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You've drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Nice yeah. Work. I am... Mate. I'm trying to, like, woo the ladies right now, if you don't mind. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Technically my first duel, but not my first round of combat, so... I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know... You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. <laughs> you knew I was right about you. It's called if the Mile High Club. <laughs> out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's uh... joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. It makes it sound so weird. <laughs> I'd hate to face Professor Hecket in a duel. Hey, we level up. Very cool. Oh, I've... Ah, the books. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I really am. All right, where are we going? To charms class. <laughs> I think you might be, bud. Rebellion. I heard something. Something dinged. What is it? Is it this? It's got. It's getting closer. Oh, mate, I'm like right here. Where is it? Whatever. I have a class to attend anyway. Rebellion. Where this one? Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the left. I am ready for charms. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Wow, so nice. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? 
Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Wow. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Because it's the memory loss charm. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. <laughs> she gets out all her books and just throws them away at her partner. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air after me <laughs> i like him he's good he's good i like him a lot I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Man's just really summoned an entire large board game out of nowhere like it was nothing wish i could set my dnd &D game up like that just wave a wand and it's instantly set up cast accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment now that's it ooh is it going to fall off no yes no Oh my god! What? What the hell? That's not fair. This game is rigged, sir. Very good. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? Swear to god, stay there. Yeah, did it. Splendid. Much better. We we've got it. We've got this. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some I am, I am single-handedly putting Ravenclaw in the lead. Would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Alrighty. After you, Natsai. Mate, she gets 50 on her first try. This game's rigged. Are you kidding me? There we go. Akio. Ooh, that one's a little fast. But it's fine. Haha. <laughs> 50 points. Oh my god, she got 50 again. Sir, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I feel cheated. Never mind, I'm just too good. Go on, get a really buggered one. Yeah? Oh my god, she only got 30. Ah, oh, what a noob. My god. You're so bad at this game. Akio. 
Uh, yeah, I don't even need a look. I know it's a 50. A perfect score. Remarkable. Yeah, I'm just that good, mate. I'm I'm great with ball handling. All right, my ball handling skills are unmatched. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What do you do? <laughs> oh, he's added boxes. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. Oh, she didn't get 50? Oh. Ah. Alrighty. I got this. Uh, yep, I got this. It's fine. We're matching her score. Excellent control there. Here we go. God damn it. <laughs> uh, making this very hard. All right, it's fine. We're matching, we're matching. Yeah, I know. What? That Was that even an attempt, Natsai? It was a rubbish. Oh, we, we're going to draw. God damn it. Oh, wait, no. What? Oh, one of her balls fell off. What? How? When? What? Oh, I was on the box. I didn't even notice. I'm so good at this game. Both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game, Basta. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Uh, definitely. To become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Oh, very cool. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in mid-air. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. What? Surely the magic is weaker. Yes. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Oh, 
Noted. A word clothing, if you would. Precise, Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. What? Mate, he was just giving you a handy tip. Oh my god, he's gonna kill him. Look. <laughs> what is that? You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. And that's Charles done. Uh, hello? Professor you Roland asleep? reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Mate, you're having a snooze. Why are you having a conversation with me? Oh, there's this person as well. What the hell? Oh, she's After my reading. Okay. Learned the summoning charm. It was constant. Accio this, Accio that. <laughs> flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Hello. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Good luck with that, love. Yeah, yeah. He's chilling. Look at him. He's like, what's up? How's it going? I'm a Hufflepuff. Or as Decatur would say, Hufflepuff. <laughs> What is going on there? Oh, what's that? What was that? I saw it. What was it? There it is. Yeah. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Mate. Why are you encouraging Stop fighting? Get us in, trouble. in trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves to smack. Oh my god. Peeves says it's a flat. <laughs> Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Why are they just headbutting? What's going on? Both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boot and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Flack. <laughs> what a nuisance, man. You'd think the school would get rid of him. Probably has tried, honestly. What's up here? Oh. Is this the astronomy tower? I'm seeing telescopes. No, is this leading to... No? Where are we going? I'm getting lost already in Hogwarts. Hello. Yeah, it's astronomy. What are you up to now? None of your business. <laughs> oh. Uh, I conceded that they had in fact been encouraging us. We or showers. Okay. Hog apparently, Hogwarts professors are coinciding with uh, people from Cambridge. You okay, love? You look tired. Oh, no, oh, I need to. Goddamn. Well, 
I found the astronomy tower. Wait, can I go up to the thing? <gasps> Where am I going? Paves, really, dude. Oh, look at this. That's so cool. Nice. That's very cool. I like that a lot. And keep going up. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, there's people flying on broomsticks. Oh, that's wicked. That is so cool. Oh my god. Oh, and there's the Quidditch pitch. Revelios. Oh, yeah, it's something. Yeah, there it is. And we've leveled up. See, exploring pays off. There's also an item down here. Grey Quidditch gloves. Oh, don't tease me, game. Give me Quidditch gear when there's no Quidditch in the game. How dare you. I need to be level four. Come on now. Okay, so I just have standard gear. Got a flat cap? Oh my goodness, peaky behind us. 